um, I do my son's actually on the waiting list for early head start because um, with him, he's I, his doctors told me he's already behind. And so I've gotten a lot of help and support um, from my family advocate to get him into early head start mm-hmm. to start with him. Um, and I've gotten a lot of family support. Um, my family advocate calls me like once a week just to check in to see if I need anything, um, how my family's going. Um, they got me into some parenting classes Wow. Um, to help and offer to do child care while I took the parenting classes. Mm-hmm. So in um, transportation, I get, you know, they're always wanting to help me go to different classes, like the parenting classes. Um, my family advocate's going to pick me up and take me and bring me home so I can attend those for my children. So. Wow. So what kinds of things have you learned in a parenting class that may have helped you in parenting your child? Um, Well, I learned a lot about nutrition. I have a lactose intolerant child, and so cooking for her has been a lot of obstacles as far as meeting her nutritional needs and um, accommodating her diet. And so I was able to learn a lot of substitutes um, for the calcium that she lacks because her milk is Mm non-calcium. So I learned a lot of ways to get her the calcium that she needed and still stick to her diet. Mm -hmm. And um, I learned different tools on discipline because I wasn't very great at disciplining my children. Um, And so I learned a lot of successful tools to discipline them positively and get the message across without having to yell or spank, which I'm against both. And so I wasn't clear on how to discipline without doing those things and so Mm -hmm. through the parenting classes I was able to learn how to do those things um I've got both my children sleeping in their own beds um which wasn't something that was happening we all slept in one bed and so um I learned how to get my children to sleep in their own beds and x out the nightmares they were having from sleeping in their own beds Uh so Wow, that's been quite a, quite a number of new skills. Oh yeah, I've learned a lot since my daughter has been in Head Start, and I've learned a, I've gotten a lot of networking being on the policy council. Mm-hmm. Um, I've met um, quite a few parents who were able to be like, you know, I was there last year with my kid, and mm-hmm. you know, these are things that I learned. Yeah. And so you know, and I do um, play dates with my daughter, so you know, she's gained skills where I've gained friends who I can call and be like, I don't understand why she's, you know, what's going on, and they're like, okay, we'll take a step back, and, you know, this is what we did when our child went through it, and so I was able to gain a network of people that are at my disposal to help me um, with a problem. My daughter started having really bad nightmares Mm -hmm. due to going to school because um, she was getting picked on when she first started school. Mm -hmm. Um, I was able to call the school and her teacher, and um, I was able to work through that with the school about... um, this issue with another child and Mm -hmm. get it resolved so my daughter would go to school because there was a point where she was like I'm not going so do you feel like you gained any self-esteem and assertiveness in doing that through head your head start experience I was because at first I didn't know how to bring the subject up because I'm a very non-confrontational person Mm -hmm. and so through talking to my family advocate first she was able to help me present the issue to the teacher in a manner that was both appropriate and respectful to get the issue resolved for my daughter. All right. So. Well, what what would life be like if there was no Head Start? Um, For my daughter, it would be very hard. She has gained so many skills um, being there, and I think for her, she would definitely take steps back. Uh Um, She's learned the days of the week because she knows what days she goes to school and what days she doesn't. Um, And so I think for her, growth-wise, it would really stunt uh-huh. Um, that growth and the progress that she's made in such a short amount of time being in Head Start. Um, I really think without it, that would stop because I wouldn't know where else to go to get the support and that my, that me and my daughter both get. I mean, she gets a lot going to school. Wouldn't you be able to uh, afford a, a preschool similar in the community? I wouldn't, and that's one of the joys of Head Start is that it I don't pay Mm-hmm. for my daughter to go there and she's able to gain the skills without me having to struggle and try to find the money to pay for it because I wouldn't I'm a low income and I'm a single parent so I wouldn't be able to pay for her to go to a private preschool in the community I would have to stop sending her altogether. and what would you want to say to our legislators I would like to say that I really stand behind Head Start. Um, It does a lot for many families. It's done wonders for my small family. I just have two kids, but it's done wonders. And 
our community needs the Head Start program. It benefits the community all around and kids who otherwise wouldn't gain the education that they get through the Head Start program.